This is a really quick original summary of Unit 1 for the AQA Chemistry GCSE. So you need to know about periodic tables. So the early periodic table, you learned to have one first, um, and honestly it wasn't very good. It was a bit small, it was a bit short, it was a bit sordid. And then Mendeleev came along. His periodic table, he ordered things in order of mass. He had groups and everything in the group had similar properties. And the key thing that Mendeleev did was he left gaps. And these were the undiscovered elements and he predicted the properties of these undiscovered elements. This was a really, really key thing that Mendeleev did. And these two in here, geranium and gallium, when they were discovered, he was proved right um, that he that the properties he predicted these elements actually did have. Now the modern periodic table is a touch different. It's in order of atomic number. This is the number of protons. So it's also in order of electronic structure. So uh, we have the number of rings down here and the groups are the number of electrons in the outer shell. So the first uh, shell has two electrons, the second shell has eight electrons, the third shell has eight electrons and you don't need to worry about up to calcium for GCSE. The rest gets really complicated, we do that at A level. So again, things in groups have similar properties. Here we have the alkali metals. Here we have the transition metals in the middle here. We have the halogens and the noble gases on the end here. So the alkali metals, when they react with water, they're going to produce hydrogen and an alkali metal hydroxide. It's a very violent reaction. Um, you might see a flame. It dissolves in water. As you go down the group, it gets more reactive. Uh, when the alkali metals want to react, they want to lose an electron, so they're going to form plus one ions. And it's uh, the, with the reactivity all depends on the number of electron shells between the positive nucleus and this electron here. The further the electron is away, the more easily it's going to be lost. The more easily it's lost, the more reactive things are. Halogen is the other group you need to know about. Um, they have seven electrons in the outer shell, so they're going to gain an electron uh, when they're relaxed, so they form minus one ions. They form the ionic bonds with things in group one. And a bit like um, the group one, you need to know how um, does the electron structure affect reactivity. And it's very similar, but it's slightly different. So here we need to be um, gaining electron we need to be pulling it in and the positive nucleus needs to reach out and pull this electron in and the more shells that are in the way the less successful it's going to be at pulling that electron in so the less reactive it's going to be.